So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do the chopstick test. Um, just so that we can be sure that all the connections, in particular the ones I've been working on today, are, are nice and solid. So what you do with the chopstick test is you, you turn the amp on, you take something non-conductive, uh, chopsticks, <laughs> people often use. This is a um, uh, extender for uh, some of my uh, color TV alignment tools, but you can use them for all of this kind of stuff because they're plastic. So I've got the uh, extender for that and I use that as my chopstick. So what you do is you power the amp on, give it some volume. Um, kind of here, I'm, I'm almost full volume. I've got the overdrive halfway up. And then you, you tap on, on, on parts of the board and components and see if you get a crackly or a staticky kind of sound. That means that the lead is wiggling uh, in there. It's not connected solidly. And then you just go and touch that up with solder. So I'm just gonna make sure that we've got uh, all of those connections are, are still good. Uh, some of these, especially in the earlier stage, you can hear it go dum 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 when you, when you hit it. That's normal and fine. So you can also tap on the tubes. I'm probably not going to do that right now, but we'll turn this on. I've got some hiss there, so uh, I can also check with the guitar. Yeah. So we've got signal going in there, and then we're just going to, I'm just going to tap on the sections I've been working on. So this is that. Uh, cathode resistor for V1A and I had to redo this uh, coax so we're good there uh, the other end of it we're not getting any noise this uh, capacitor that we just put in here we're good there we're not getting any noises and here's the new resistor we put in on V2B and we're not getting anything there we're not getting any noises we don't expect so what I generally do is, is I'll, I'll, I'll tap on the turrets and see, you know, what we get. Or in the case of these, these boards, I'll just tap them. We're not getting any, any noises. By the time you get down to the end of this, if you have any noises, it's definitely from loose connections. And this amp is good and solid. i got to hear it again. Um, so we're doing good there. I'm not going to go around the real high voltage stuff here. We'd know if something was going on there. Um, tapping, tapping the tubes is not giving us anything. Good solid amp. 